Alrighty, so once again, I am ill-prepared, but I have an idea of what we're going to do today. We worked on this. We worked on building a teapot uh, in the last video, um, and we took Max from another scene we had built in, uh, several videos ago, and we placed him in front just for the fun of it. And what I'm trying to do is show how you can build on what you have, and then you can interchange uh, the little projects that you've made. Uh, they don't have to be a one-off, meaning you've made it, and that's the one and only time you can use it. You can actually photocopy this, like I said, color it, um, cut it out, make it into a little diorama, a little scene, and you inter make everything interact. Um, we can take the scene that we made where um, Max... Jack and and Jack, uh, Max, Jack, and um, Max, sorry, Max, Jack, and who was it? Joel, sorry, Joel the squirrel, are flying kites, and we can put it in the background of this. We can use this in the background of that, or in the background of the, the reading TP sign that we made. But we're going to just keep expanding on it, so you can keep build, building the vil village that I've imagined. At some point in time, I do want to do a whole map of the town that we can lay out, but uh, that will be for way further down the road, I think. Today, we're going to build, we're going to draw a friend for Max, and let me see, who do we pick today? We haven't drawn Bugsy. We haven't really had Joel interact with anyone very much, except for that kite. We have Jimmy, but Jimmy's kind of an odd one off. He's off to the side. We could put Scooter, we could put Honey Bear down. Um, we've already done Dixie a couple of times. So we've got Bugsy and Joel and Jack. We haven't used those three characters much. So I think, I think what we'll do, we'll have Joel. Joel's kind of calm. He's calm like Max is calm. So why don't we give Ma uh, Max a um, someone to talk with? So we want to make sure that they're about the same height. And again, Joel is a squirrel. Um, and like every other thing that we've drawn, it's just basic shapes. So we're going to go over it. We're going to make Joel sit roughly this high, even with this little hat on that he wears. Um, and he's going to be, I don't think I've drawn him sitting down. So this is going to be an adventure for both of us, or for all of us. Right, so roughly that big. Same size as Max. Okay, just about. Sorry, it's getting dark again. I've spent my entire day painting and doing stuff. Um, so I put this off a little late. Let's see, let's see if we can get this done, which I think we can. Maybe we'll have... Let's, let me see. Let me try and figure this out really quick. We don't want him fat. We don't want him not fat. We just don't want him to be dramatically larger than Max. That that's the correct way to say it. Because calling someone fat is very mean. So let me see what we can do. You know what? I think he's going to be crossing his legs. When a squirrel sits, they have these. They have haunches, like. Normally, that would be the beginning of their haunches, meaning this is his bottom. There's his high knee. This would be close to being a knee right there, coming down this way, which would be kind of like his shin or the front of our leg, and then his foot. But we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that shape. I don't want him hunched over like that. We want him sitting up. So we're going to disregard that. We're going to have him sitting. He's, let's see. Let's have him looking. <clears throat> we're going to have him looking at Max. Let me clip this off. Let me clip, clip that scribble off so we're not distracted. <clears throat> there. Take that away. So he's going to be kind of like Max. 
but so it'll be the same basic shapes almost except the yeah same basic shapes and I'm sorry I started way ahead <coughs> pardon me we're gonna do I kind of jumped ahead while I was thinking this head's gonna be an oval and it probably won't end up being quite that big but his head is an oval We're going to have two lines coming down. In a swooshy manner. Swoosh, swoosh off the oval. Okay. His eye is going to be just like Max's. A little big, a little big. And he's looking, he's looking at Max. Okay, we just keep that in mind. So the back of the head is going to be a little bit bigger than the front. Now, squirrels don't have a round head really, or an oval head. They haven't. We can start off with the oval, but we're going to cut the oval off. We're going to come right down, right down into his nose. So we started with an oval, but we're cutting it down, a line down to make a nose. And um, Jack, who's a squirrel, uh, uh, sorry, a rabbit, is very similar. So we come down to his nose, and then we make another sharp line. Okay. I drew his jawline there, but wait a sec. Sorry, I'm jumping around a lot. I don't like that pencil. Where's the other pencil? There it is. There we go. This one's not as hard. This is a lot softer. So it's easier for me to draw. His ear is just two lines making a triangle. There's the original oval back here. But we want his jaw line. And feel, feel your jaw. And that'll help you to understand how his jaw feels. Okay? Just like that. I was just looking at a squirrel, as a matter of fact, I was walking Bugsy, my dog, and I saw I saw a squirrel, and he was really funny. He was sitting on the branch of a tree, just staring at me. So, I came down, and I drew a line, that'll be his arm, and that little oval right there is his hand. It's like he's talking. Boy, I really didn't plan this out. But it's okay. Let's see, where do we want his other arm? That's what I'm thinking. Maybe we'll just erase a little bit of that original swoopy line. Draw a line right down like that for his arm. Okay? Then his legs are going to be crossed, and they're going to be very, very similar to Max. We don't have to make this super complicated. He is different. He's not a turtle, but it doesn't need to be complicated. So we've got these two rectangles. We had the swoopy. So we had the oval. We had two swoopy lines. Then we made a line for his arm an oval for his hand, a line for his other arm, and then two rounded rectangles for his legs. That one's not finished. This one kind of is. For some reason, unlike Max, I didn't finish off that end. I kept it connected so he has more of a knee. I don't know why. I just do that. Now the one big, big difference between Max and Joel is Joel has a tail. Um, Joel is a squirrel. They have fluffy tails. So we're going to give him a fluffy tail. I drew a line down the center, the bone of his tail, and we're going to have fur coming off of it. And so I'm just drawing lines around it. So I have a guide for later. So I was drawing lines around that center line 
for his fluffy tail. It'll all become clear once we pick up our pen and start drawing in. So there we are. Now we're going to put a hat on top of Joel's head. Okay. And to do that, I'm trying to make this so you can see it. This is really difficult though. Anyway, um, to do that, we're just going to draw basically another rectangle. That's it. Another rectangle on the top of his head. A little round at the top. And we'll draw a separate line in there because in his hat he wears a knitted hat and we fold them up just a little bit so it fits on his head. I also want to add some glasses. Joel sometimes wears glasses. He wears like little old man glasses. Two rectangles and a little arch line connecting them. That's it. So there he is. There's Joel. Let's pick up our pen, get to work. I've got my fancy brush pen. You take what you use whatever you can. Actually, I went to the store yesterday and forgot to get markers so we could be using the same materials. I'm going to start with the eye. I like starting with the eye. There it is, just a circle. I think I want to do the ear. In drawing, you're not supposed to. You're supposed to do the outer shape first, drawing and painting, but I felt like doing the ear and the eye, so there we go. <coughs> I'm going to draw the back of his head. So that would be like his neck. I'm going to come down with his arm. I'm going to draw, what do we want to do next? I think I'm going to draw his nose. Just the line down, line coming down to his nose right there. Draw the line coming up. Sorry, I'm a little scattered again. I'm going to do his jaw line now. There's his jaw. Gonna draw his chin. Look at it's curvy. It looks like it could meet up with his jaw, but I don't want to do that. I don't want to connect his chin and the jawline. Because that's gonna make it feel when we're done like his head his head is separate from his body, and I don't want that. I'm gonna draw his arm now. I'm gonna give him a little bump right here for his shoulder. It's just a tiny, tiny bump. And then for his hand, I'm not going to make it complicated, but I'm not going to do, I'm not going to finish off that oval. I'm going to make it like a hook. And then draw the bottom of his arm, which is just another line. There we go. It's easy peasy lemon squeezy. I'm going to draw his body now, this part of his body. Like his chest tummy area. And his leg. We're going to start his leg. I'm going to draw this, his right leg, which is just like, just like Max's, just like Scooter's, just like Honey Bear's, just like everybody else's. It's basically a rectangle with rounded edges, just two lines and a little curve right there. One, two lines and a curve. I'm going to draw the other leg. Boink, boink. I'm going to give him a knee. There. So he's kind of sitting cross-legged. Um, going to do that. Let's do the tail. And the tail might seem a little bit complicated. I know I never planned this out well. Let's see. It's, it's fluffy. So we're going to need fluffy lines. Nothing complicated. Fluffy lines. Now we've drawn, we drew feathers in one video, and it's the same idea. The lines don't have to be even, they don't have to be straight, and they don't have to connect. And you don't even want them all 
running in one straight line. You see how I did that? Just like swoop, swoop, swoop. That says fur. At least it does to me. Now I'm gonna, I think I am going to draw this line down for the rest of his body, for his torso. So he's sitting at kind of a nifty angle. Now I'm going to get his hat. The top of his hat is just a curve. Two little lines coming down. And then we're going to draw the brim. The underneath part, just behind his ear. And then a skinny rectangle finishing it off. Let's not forget his glasses, which is a curve, an oval, and another oval. And then I want to indicate his ear, so I'm just going to make a line right, I'm trying to do this so you can see it, right here. So I put a line inside that little rectangle, making an ear. And put a couple of lines in there. There. Let me fill in his eye, too. And his eye, once again, is just a series of lines. That's it. Just some lines. Okay? And I don't know if you can see it, but I actually came out of that circle in a couple of places, and it's no big deal. I'm going to erase just a tiny bit of this. You don't have to. You can do what you like. All right, there he is. There's Joel. All right, let's take our scissors and cut. And remember, no careful tiny lines. Nothing too intricate. We're just going to leave some white space around it so we don't have to worry. This shouldn't be the hardest part of the whole project. None of it is that hard, really. Try and keep it as easy as possible. Quick and easy. This is just play time. This is time where we can relax. Not worry about things. Okay. I'm gonna cut I'm gonna cut a little bit right there. Now I know I do this kind of fast, but I've been doing this for a long time. the cutting part to go quickly because it's not my favorite. My favorite is making the lines with the pen. Because I, once I figured it out it got easier and easier. Take a piece of scrap paper. Yeah, I think that'll do. <clears throat> We're just going to take a piece of scrap paper and make a little roll with it. A paper roll, like we do. I'm using my glue today. I've got my dollar store glue stick. My favorite. Put glue right there. I'm just going to roll it up. Oops. Don't want it too skinny. Don't want it too fat. Let's see how it fits. If it'll fit behind Joel. Oh, it will. He's good. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue on Joel. Let me 
just going to make him sit up. We're going to see the roll in the bottom this time, but it's okay. Oh, I use scrap paper and you can see the yellow coming through from the from my notes on the front, but it's okay. This is a fun project. This is not meant to be a something that lasts forever. It's just something fun. So here they are, ready? Look. They're pontificating. Meaning they are talking. Talking about very important things. Two friends talking about very important smart things. The latest book that they read or where they've been or an adventure they want to go on. Alright. So we're gonna take we're gonna take these two characters and put we're gonna take the teapot. I mean sorry, we're gonna take Joel uh, Joel and Max and put them to the side. I think they look really cute together. Two friends. Two friends. Put them to the side. I don't want to use I don't want to use this piece of paper because that's going to make me crazy. I have to draw with that. The next project I want to do, the next character I want to build, and what I do when I'm make when I'm drawing things like Max, like Max and Joel, in this teapot is I like to think up I like to think about stories, like what what are they talking about? And in my mind today, um, although Max isn't using his hands, Joel is. Max was telling Joel all about the teapot he grew up in, so maybe he's remembering this. He's remembering, and he's saying, um, I lived here when I was a baby, and or he's told Joel, I lived here when I was a baby, and I lived with my auntie, or I lived with my Grammy, or I lived with, I lived with someone. I lived with someone who loved me. So maybe they're both talking about when they grow up. But what I wanted to do today is make the figure that actually took care of Max when he lived here. So like I said, it could have been a Grammy, it could have been an auntie, I think I'm going to make her a little bit big than, bigger than is practical for the teapot, but is practical for my pen and my drawings, for the way I draw. So I'm going to make her... Okay, she's going to stand, actually, she's going to stand about the same height they do, maybe a little bit taller. I'm not going to worry about it too much, though. <clears throat> I'm going to make her that tall. So she's a little bit bigger. We just made Joel. So let me see. She's going to sit a little bit. She's going to stand a little bit taller than Joel sits. Than the figure of Joel sits. I don't know if you can see that. But anyway, just go along with me. Just appease me. Okay, so we're going to make her slightly round. That's going to be her body. Her head, her head is going to be, oh no, let me fix something. Her head's going to be an oval. An oval sitting on top of that circle. She's going to have two lines coming down for legs. See how easy that is? A circle, an oval at an angle. You want it at an angle, and you'll see why in a minute. And the two legs. Now for her arms, they're going to come out a little bit. Her arm is going to come out because she's going to be holding a baby Max. There's her other arm, just inside the outside of the circle. I'm going to have it come down a little bit. 
of. All right, we're going to go to her eye so we know where she's looking. I got a lot of lines on the top of her head. That's confusing. See where her eye is. It's a little bit forward. Kind of in the middle and forward because she's looking down. And we're going to draw another oval in her arms. That's going to be Max. I want to erase that part of the circle. Now I'm going to put a little face in there. I'm going to put a, a little circle-y oval right there. Right. I need to check something because I can't remember how I drew this lady. Well, you know what? I don't think I did. I don't think I ever really drew her. Nope. When I originally drew Max, it was just a turtle head and nothing else. I don't know. Apparently, I've decided that it was a turtle lady that brought him up. Could have been a turtle man. I think I'm a turtle lady. And let's see. Turtle lady. We're going to put in a dress. So we're going to come down off the circle a little bit further out than her line, the legs for her lines. Okay? The lines for her legs. I think we're going to give her a V collar. A V collar. She's in a very simple dress. A shift. A shift. 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 Okay, there she is. Right. She's going to have a little bit of a hump back there because she's still going to still gonna shell. We're going to draw her shoulder. That's her shoulder. It's just a curvy line. Her arm is going to come down like this. Let me take out... We drew down the, that first line, but we're either... We drew, actually drew the arm lines on the outside of that first line. She needs to be holding the baby. So we're going to draw two more lines. There's her elbow, there's the inside of her elbow, and the rest of her arm. And then we'll erase this part of the baby, baby blanket. Okay. There she is. Okay. Let's see. All right, this is what you should have right now. This arm, we did nothing fancy. We just added a little line there and a line there for her hand. For her hand, excuse me. We're going to draw Max's face. So we're going to extend that oval just a little bit. And it doesn't matter. It's going to be easier to see once we ink it in, once we use our magic marker or pens. And then we, we give them an eyeball. Okay. Now we're going to go down to his legs. We're going to draw a line like that. That's where her feet will go. And her legs are nothing more than one line, two lines. That's it. That's it. Okay. Now we're going to grab our pens. I'm going to grab my fancy pen. Oop, you guys fell over. Joel. Max, sit up. Boy, they're talking about important things. Now I'm going to start with the eye again. I don't know why. Just am. The eye. The back of the head. I'm going to make the back of the head come down a little bit further. 
from her head to her neck, touching the collar of her shirt, her, of her dress. Okay. I'm gonna go. Ooh, I'm a little nervous about this coming down to her face, and I just want to extend the front of her face just a little bit because turtles do have a little bit of a nose, but we don't want to show it really because it's tiny. So it's a little bit more pointed than when when you, when we drew it in pencil. It's just a little bit more pointed. I want to do Max's face, so I'm going to start with his eye. Just like that. Okay. Then I'm going to do his head. We don't see most of his head. Because he's all wrapped up in a blanket. So the, both of them are kind of shaped like eggs. They have egg heads. We're going to draw his blanket before we draw her arms. In his blanket, he's all wrapped up. Oh, poop. I should have drawn her arm first, this part of her arm. It's okay, though. It's okay. So, he's all wrapped up, and it's cloth. So it's not going to be perfect. It's not going to be perfectly round. You look at my lines. They look a little bit like sausages that haven't been cut yet, so they're in links. Links. They go whoop, whoop. I like drawing like that. Uh, kind of screwed up her arm, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna draw the collar of her dress. I'm gonna draw the sleeve of her dress, just like that. I'm gonna draw the the shoulder of her dress, and then come down to the back. Now I gotta decide what I'm gonna do with her hand because I messed that up. I'm gonna erase. I made this nice line for her hand and then I screwed it up. But it's okay, because watch. Here's the line. There's his blanket or his swaddling. There. That's gonna be her hand cradling his back, his neck and his, the back of him. So it's okay. There's her hand. And there's her shoulder. That line is her shoulder. We're going to come down here with the dress. I'm going to come over here, and I think I want some ruffles on the bottom of her dress. So I made squiggly lines. Now her legs. Boink. Boink. Boink, boink. Her feet, boink, boink. There we go. Okay, now let's draw her arm, her left arm, from her shoulder down to her elbow, from her shoulder down to the inside of her elbow, her elbow to her hand. Easy, easy lines. Elbow down to her hand. And now her hand. Oop, and then I forgot. He's got this blanket going on. So there. You see what I just did? I had left this. I That was just a pencil mark. I just went whoop, whoop right over like that. Because he's all wrapped up in a blanket. So we need to show that a line where the blanket might have been wrapped. Okay? Let's do their eyes now. And those are just little lines. Let me see if I can do this so you can see what I'm doing. It, it can't. This is ridiculous. Um, it's just boink, 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 boink. Pew, pew, pew. Pew, pew, pew. Drawn lines. I want to put a hem on the bottom of her dress. And a hem is where 
your shirt or your dress or your pants are stitched so you don't just have cloth hanging down um, and all fraying. You fold it under and you sew it. So I just gave her a little hem, a little sewed hem. Now I'm going to erase. Now I think whatever whoever this lady is who made Max feel loved when he was a baby, whoever this special lady is, she might want to wear some flowers on her dress. Let me make this a little bit darker. Yeah, that line needed to be darker. For consistency. There we go. I think she liked flowers. So we're going to give her really easy flowers. Circle, 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 half a circle over here. Half a circle here is working for me. I'll give her a little circle right there too. You just draw circles where they feel right, and you want them in random places. Let's see, what kind of flower? Well, we did the impatience. Maybe we're not going to worry about it too much. We'll just draw flowers like that. Where they're just kind of big squiggly lines Before we pen it in, I'm going to show you. I'll do a big one so you can really see. It's easy for me to say big squiggly lines and know what I'm talking about. This is the flower we have on the dress. Where's my scrap paper? There it is. Let me take my scrap paper and do this so I'm not wasting anything. We've got the circle that we drew. And then Also be an amoeba, but just a circle, big, squiggly lines. That's it. I like that one better. It has five bumps on it. One, two, three, four, five bumps. That one has six, but it doesn't matter. It's a fun project. It's a silly project. And it's a dress, a turtle wearing a dress. So I'm going to draw my circles in. <laughs> I draw my circles in. Flowers might look nice with. Uh, thinner pen line, but I'm not going to worry about it. These are my squiggly line. Around the circle. Another squiggly line around the circle. Another squiggly line around a circle. Another squiggly line. A set of squiggly lines around a circle. nice 
we're not going to draw the petals. Um, we don't want to get too much detail in there. When we get done, you can always color this. Um, I think without all a ton of little lines in there defining the petals exactly, I think it's just going to be a much funner project for you to color. So now she's got dresses. She's got circles on her dresses. I do want to put some lines on that blanket though, so we can differentiate it from the from the dress. And my the the lines are going to be just like the lines that we use in the eyes and in um when we're doing uh, bushes. Let's see if I can try to find a way we can do this. This is going to be tough. Sorry, guys. Just lines. Like that. They don't have to go in any particular direction. That's what I've done. Not a ton of lines. I don't worry about it. I just do. I just do it. Okay, let's cut her out. What are we going to call her? Is she Mabel? Is she Mahitable? Mahitable. Mahitable was my grandmother's name. Is she Helen? Is she Agnes? Is she Grandma? Is she Auntie Florence? Who is she? There she is. Now we can make a roll and make her stand up, but it's going to show. So let's very quickly make um, a little set of bushes like we have before that will help um, help her to stand up and we don't have to look at the roll that we're going to make that we use on the back of all of our characters, okay? Um, we don't want it too high. It's just little bit of shrubbery in front of her house or wherever they go. She will carry the shrubbery wherever she goes. So if she takes, decides to take Max out for a walk, she'll have shrubbery walking with them. That'll be awesome. So it's just a uh, another rectangle and not too high. Oops, there it is. We're going to do this. Squiggly lines again. Squiggly lines. Oh, I forgot to draw the inside. Whoops. It's okay. It doesn't matter. Squiggly lines. We're going to cut this up a little bit, so to speak. I'm just going to not worry about it too much. Just break up that bush. So it's not one big, one big rectangle. There, we did it. You're not going to worry about it. You're just going to do it. And then we add squiggly lines. They don't have to meet. They don't have to be straight. They have to be squiggly. This is a bush, and a bush is not tidy. No matter how tidy we try and make them, they, are, they have leaves, and they are messy, and they do what they want. Okay, I'm going to take my smaller pen now and make more squiggly lines. 
like we did before. I'm not worrying about it. Oop. Making crazy lines. Crazy, silly, out of control lines. Out of control. Perni pernicious lines. Okay. Oh, speaking of pernicious, it is Shakespeare's birthday and the day he died today. Happy birthday, death day, Shakespeare, my favorite writer. Oh, pernicious lines. Anyone who knows Shakespeare will know what I'm referring to. Now we're just going to write, uh, draw lines like we do in their eyes, like we did on Max's blanket. Just lines going in all different directions. Crazy, crazy directions. Because it doesn't matter. It's okay. We can draw them really close together, really far apart. We want to make sure, though, that they are going in different directions. Okay? <laughs> I'm going to do something silly. It's hard to do. So you can see what I'm doing. We don't stay <coughs> inside the black lines. We can draw outside them. They can crisscross. It doesn't matter. Okay? <coughs> Cut that out. I'm going to cut some of that crazy off. I can hear Bugsy chewing on his chewy. Bugsy likes to chew on the chewy. him some bones and some chewy sticks. And that's what he's over there doing right now. He's hard at work. You know what this needs though? A couple of leaves. So we've done this before. We know it's not a big deal. We're going to make a couple of leaves. They're just two, all right, three lines. One line goes down the middle like that. One line goes down the middle. And then we have two arching lines that go around it. One line goes down the middle. And then two curvy, archy lines go around it. One line goes down the middle. Two curvy, archy lines go around it. Good job. Let's do it again. One line down the middle, two arch archy, curvy lines on either side of it. One line down the middle, two archy, curvy lines on either side of it. Yes? And then one line down the middle, two archy, curvy lines on either side of it. And that's it. Now we've got two sets of leaves. We're going to cut those out and glue them to our bush. That Grandma, Auntie, Lady, Mehitable, Florence, somebody is standing in front of while she's holding Max and showing him how much he is loved. She loves to rub her nose against his. I used to do that to my son. Rub my nose on his nose. His Grammy used to do that with him. Rub her nose on his nose. His Grammy used to do that with me.
poke her nose on my nose. So, she does it with Max. Right, so, yeah. We're just going to glue our leaves on. Kind of doesn't matter where. If they just land where they land, and it'll be okay. Kitty. Kitty. Don't knock it over today. We've made it through this session without too much mayhem. Like last time. Alright, so we've got our leaves on. We're going to glue, glue Max's lady who loves him on. Or we can tape her. It's whatever you have. I don't want to put too much glue on her though because the paper will start to wrinkle up otherwise. It'll pucker and wrinkle. That eh, did anyway. Whatever. There we go. There we go. We didn't worry about where we put those and we didn't worry about where we put those and it worked out perfectly. We didn't worry about the placement of the flowers on the dress or the lines in Max's blanket or the lines on the in the bushes and it worked out perfectly. Okay, just as a reminder. Now we're going to cut a piece of paper because we're going to make a little roll for Max and Lady Mahitable. I'm going to keep calling her Mahitable. We're going to rub glue on this or tape. We can tape it together. It is whatever you have. We're going to roll it up. What? Yeah, don't, don't knock the camera over. And we're going to glue our little roll on the back of her. And you notice I didn't rip... I know, I know, I know. Um, I didn't really worry about... I know, what are you, what are you doing, kitty? Um, I didn't really worry about the size of the roll. I just did it. If it wasn't right, I can always fix it. But I don't need to fix it. So I'm going to add some glue. Glue that whole thing together. Not too much glue. Just a little, and there we go. Look at that! Look at it! And now we'll put the lady turtle in front of the teapot where she lived. Okay. Mahitable. Who names a lady Mahitable? Anyway, somebody named my grandmother that. So there they are in front of the teapot house, in front of the turtle teapot house. Oop. Oh my god, I do stuff up there. There they are, and that's how it's standing up. And this is something you can put on a shelf or keep in a box, do whatever you want. Let's grab... Grab Joel. I mean, sorry, Max. But there's baby Max, and there's the Max that's in the story most of the time. And there's Joel. Now maybe. Shh, okay, we're almost done. Um, maybe Joel is asking Max all about all about his grandmother or his auntie or whoever this is. Um, whoever this lady is that, that taught Max how to love and how to, how to feel cared for. Maybe Joel is asking all kinds of questions. Maybe Max is remembering. It's up to you. I've got a place to start a story now. And this is something you can write down or you can talk about or you can just think about. All right, that's it. We did it. We did it. We've completed the project, um, or part of it anyway. Another time, we'll build the uh, teacups that are actually part of the part of this house, or we'll do the three. We'll do the um, two floors. We can illustrate the two floors, or maybe we'll move on to Joel's house. 
We'll see. We'll see what we do next time. All right? Everybody take care. Thanks a lot. Ciao. Ciao. Have fun. Me, 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 well. Do. Hi, you guys. Can I come and sit, too? Anyway, ciao. <laughs>